Hi my darlings, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have a ranked video for you and I'm going to be ranking all of my Miss Dior fragrances from the least loved to the most loved fragrance. So keep watching. Miss Dior is your woody rose perfume. We've got some patchouli in the base with some blood orange and pink pepper. And then I have my absolutely blooming here. And we have raspberry black currant. We have bergamot and pink pepper in this fragrance. We have a heart of rose and peony. And we have a soft musk base. And so here I have my Miss Dior EDT. And we have notes of blood orange, mandarin, and we have may rose, lily of the valley, and some patchouli. Next here I have my blooming bouquet, and I have it in an atomizer. And this one is mandarin, peony, rose, apricot and peach with musk in the base. Here I have my rose and roses with geranium, bergamot, mandarin. We have the rosy heart and musk in the base. So I do have my 10 mil for Blooming Bouquet and I have to say that this is my least loved fragrance from the Miss Dior collection and the reason being is because I find this fragrance to be somewhat a little bit generic, um, a little bit light, it's a bit too green for me and I don't find it, it doesn't excite me. So. This fragrance, I only have this in a 10 mil, and I'm pretty sure this is going to last me a very long time. It has this, to me, it has this almost like a body spray feel to it. It's quite linear and very light, so I don't really grab this very often, to be honest. So this has to be my least loved from the house. And I do, like I said, I do have this in a 10 mil and I think that's the reason why I don't think I can buy a full bottle of this one. So sorry guys if this is like your favourite perfume. If you love it, let me know what you love about this fragrance. For my style, I would want something to be a tiny bit more sweeter. So that's in at number five. Five, I do have my Rose and Roses guys. This is my five mil bottle. It's so cute. <laughs> it's really, really sweet guys. Um, yes, I almost bought a full bottle of this and the only reason I didn't buy it is because by the time I went to get it, it was sold out. And so I said, okay, fine. I will just stay with my five mil. And if I go through this, then I will buy the larger size. But I do like that powdery musk note and it is a nice fragrance it's a light floral but it's not really my go-to fragrance i love geranium i love rose in a fragrance with some musk but this one here it's just not my immediate style right now so that's coming in at number four and the next one in at number three would be my Miss Dior EDT. And Miss Dior EDT is really nice actually. I have to say that this is a really well done EDT for the Eau de Parfum. It smells exactly the same. And what I do love is when an EDT still smells like the EDP, but just a little bit lighter. So this one is not too green. It's not too um, fresh. It's very sweet, but it's just a milder version of the Eau de Parfum. And this is great to wear. I think there's a little bit of freshness to this. It does have a bit of Lily of the Valley in the heart as well as the rose. And I do think this is something suitable more for the spring and summer. And it's a light fragrance as well. You normally get about four hours wear of this one. Um, so I do like it, but that's coming in at number three. In at number two is my Absolutely Blooming. This fragrance, guys, I have to say, I do like this fragrance. And it was a close one. It was a very much close one. Um, but this is still number two and I really do love it. It's your Fruity Floral. 
I love that blackcurrant note with the pomegranate and peony. It is sweet, it is playful, it makes a perfect daytime fragrance for the spring, guys. The wear on this is incredible. I do like the wear on this one out of the whole collection. Um, but this one, I think, I do love it. I really do love it. But I don't pick this up as often as other fragrances so that's why it's ranking number two but I do really love this fragrance guys and of course darlings in at number one is the original Miss Dior and this is my beautiful praline rose with some orange notes I really do love this perfume we've got patchouli in there we've got some rosewood it's that woody floral that I really do love and this perfume is quite dense. It's quite a heavy fragrance. And I think for me, I prefer to wear this more in the autumn, winter or very late summer. This is a great fragrance to transition into the autumn before you hit winter. I think this is gorgeous. It gives you this cocooning, soft, dense, sugary fragrance that I just need when the weather is getting chilly. I love this in the evenings, but you can wear this in the daytime. I do wear this actually anytime. I find it to be quite universal. So that's ranking number one, guys. Did you guys guess that this was going to be my number one? <laughs> I think many of you thought it may have been absolutely blooming, but I normally wear this one a little bit more than absolutely blooming. I tend to wear this mainly in the spring because it has this sort of like a new morning, early start feel to it. It's a lovely fragrance. So those are my fragrances ranked from my least favourite up until my most favourite and it's my Miss Dior Eau de Parfum 2017 that wins. But if I could, I would include my Miss Dior 2012 version to be my almost number one. <laughs> it would be my Miss Dior Cherie. But I didn't include these two for you guys because these are discontinued so I wanted to show you fragrances that are relevant and perfumes you can actually buy today but that is my Miss Dior range and I just love this cherry popcorn note that's in here and I do love that bergamot lemon and rose full of rose in the 2012 version so that's my lineup there guys i just had to throw that in there for you if i can i would love to extend this even further and i'm really intrigued to find out how the fragrance is going to change for the new reformulation guys if you're excited about the changes let me know i have linked all the fragrances down below so that you guys can grab a hold of these perfumes before they're discontinued so yes guys i advise you to definitely stock up and bulk buy these perfumes before they are discontinued and these are my gosh guys i love these perfumes <laughs> so guys that's my miss dior collection let me know what your top two fragrances are from miss dior from the flankers as well i would love to know so darlings thank you so much for watching and if you are new to my channel I welcome you. I would love for you to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.